This isn't a glimpse of the future. This is the future, unfolding right above our heads. This is a world where the sky no longer belongs to birds or planes, but to machines that think, adapt, and perform with eerie precision. This is where lights dance across the night in synchronized patterns, not from stars, but from drones forming galaxies, dragons, and data spirals in mid-air. And at the heart of it all is China's Drone World Congress 2025, where the unimaginable becomes real. What if the sky is no longer the limit, but just the beginning? Let's dive in. A night to remember. It started with silence, then a soft hum that rose like a heartbeat. Thousands of glowing drones lifted into the night sky over Shenzhen, moving not like machines, but like a single living entity. What followed wasn't a show, it was a transformation. The drones painted the darkness with light. Giant planets spun above the crowd. Flying taxis hovered in midair. Robotic figures walked through invisible streets in the sky. Every motion was synced to a powerful, cinematic soundtrack that vibrated through the ground. It didn't feel like watching something. It felt like stepping into the future. The audience was stunned. Cameras came out, but many just stared. Still, quiet, overwhelmed. The display wasn't just visual, it was emotional. Each drone moved with impossible precision. Together, they formed animated sequences that danced, breathed, and told stories. At that moment, technology wasn't cold. It was art. The sky above had become a digital canvas. And the message was clear. This isn't a distant dream. It's happening now. That night, Shenzhen didn't just host a drone exhibition. It became a window into a new world where light moves with purpose and machines speak the language of wonder inside the future. By day, the magic shifted from sky to ground. Inside the massive halls of the Drone World Congress 2025, the future felt close enough to touch. Held in Shenzhen, China, a city already pulsing with tech innovation, this event wasn't just another trade fair. It was a declaration. Over 800 companies from more than 100 countries gathered to unveil the cutting edge of drone technology. The numbers alone were staggering. Over 5,000 innovations spread across nearly 50,000 square meters. More than 76,000 professionals walked through those doors, engineers, researchers, investors, and curious minds alike. But the layout was what made the experience unforgettable. The exhibition was divided into zones, each one focused on a different corner of the unmanned revolution. Industrial drones, consumer models, flying taxis, amphibious bots, anti-drone defense systems. It was all there, buzzing quietly under polished lights and digital displays. It wasn't just about showing off, it was about showing what's next. From agriculture and logistics to filmmaking and security, the possibilities stretched far beyond imagination. This wasn't science fiction anymore, it was science in motion. And as you stepped deeper into each zone, it became clear our relationship with machines is evolving fast. Drones that work. In one section of the exhibition, the glamour faded and purpose took the spotlight. These were drones built not to impress, but to solve real-world problems. Industrial drones stood tall, quietly redefining what machines can do on the ground and in the air. One model scanned for forest fires using thermal vision, instantly sending coordinates to fire departments while guiding ground crews to safety. Another carried medical supplies across rural landscapes, flying over rivers and roads with no delay or detour. 
There were drones designed specifically for agriculture, spraying fields with precision, analyzing crop health from above, and reducing labor where manpower falls short. Logistics systems were on full display, with autonomous drones capable of lifting and delivering heavy loads in busy urban environments. Even police departments had their share. Surveillance drones equipped with facial recognition software and real-time communication tools offered a glimpse into the future of public safety. What stood out wasn't just the hardware, it was the autonomy. These drones didn't need constant human input. They detected, reacted, and executed on their own. Here, innovation met responsibility, and in doing so, it revealed a quiet truth. The most powerful technology doesn't always shout. Sometimes, it simply shows up and does the job. Now, first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Drones that entertain. Away from the serious hum of industrial machines, another zone buzzed with pure excitement. This was where drones stopped being tools and became toys, cameras, racers, and performers. Consumer drones took center stage, drawing crowds with their sleek designs and surprising capabilities. Some models were so small and lightweight, they could fold into the size of a smartphone and launch straight from the palm of your hand. Others were built for speed, racing drones that zipped through neon-lit obstacle courses like high-tech hummingbirds. For content creators, the choices were endless. Filming drones came equipped with advanced stabilization, 4K cameras, and smart tracking systems. They didn't just follow you, they predicted your movements, capturing smooth cinematic shots as if directed by an invisible film crew. And the control? As easy as swiping on your phone. Real-time views, gesture commands, and automated flight paths are all built for everyday users with no need for pilot training. Here, drone technology felt fun, accessible, and personal. These weren't just gadgets for hobbyists anymore. They were tools for storytelling, play, and self-expression. In a world that's moving faster than ever, these drones offered something rare, freedom. The kind you can hold in your hand and send soaring into the sky. Air cabs and beyond. Then came the machines that didn't just fly. They promised to change how we move forever. In this part of the exhibition, the future of personal transport took shape. Vertical takeoff and landing vehicles, or VTLs, stood like mechanical birds waiting for their first flight. China's Xpeng stole the spotlight with its modular flying car system. A sleek, ground-based vehicle, the mothership, connected seamlessly to a detachable aerial unit. Drive when you can. Fly when you must. With a range of 1,000 kilometers on the road and vertical lift powered by six rotors, it was a bold new hybrid. Jetson AB, a Swedish company, was also impressed with the Jetson 1, a single-seater flying motorcycle that looked like it belonged in a video game. Lightweight, joystick-controlled, and operable without a license in the US, it sold out two years in advance. Xpeng's Aero HT prototype pushed the boundaries even further, blending road and sky travel. Designed for 90% ground use, it could still lift above traffic jams in seconds. These weren't concepts hidden in labs. They were flying, maneuvering, and undergoing certification. What was once science fiction now felt dangerously close to your next morning commute. The sky, it seems, is becoming just another lane, not just airborne. The future didn't stop in the sky, it extended to land and sea as well. In another section of the exhibition, a new generation of ground and underwater robots revealed just how far autonomous systems have come. There were rugged land robots designed for search and rescue missions, 
capable of navigating debris, climbing stairs, and identifying victims using thermal sensors. Some moved like animals, adapting to rough terrain with surprising agility. Others were built for logistics, hauling loads in factories or delivering goods across city streets without a human in sight. Underwater drones captured equal attention. Sleek and silent, these submersibles were built for research, surveillance, and exploration. Some could swim deep into oceans, mapping the sea floor or inspecting pipelines. A few even had amphibious designs, machines that rolled across land, dove into the water, and emerged again without assistance. Flying motorcycles, autonomous boats, and research rovers, the exhibition blurred the boundaries between earth, water, and sky. Everything was connected by one idea, movement without limitation. These machines weren't built to impress. They were built to adapt. In disaster zones, polluted waters, and urban jungles, they offered something uniquely human, presence. The ability to go where we can't and do what we never could. Autonomous intelligence. But what truly powered these machines wasn't metal or rotors, it was intelligence. Almost every drone at the exhibition shared one quiet, powerful feature. Artificial intelligence that allowed them to think on their own. Neural networks have become the brains behind modern drones. They read the environment in real time, dodge unexpected obstacles, track moving targets, and make split-second decisions without human input. These aren't pre-programmed routines. They're dynamic responses, evolving with every flight. One of the most intriguing innovations was the micro-drone with flapping wings. Inspired by birds, it mimicked natural flight and was small enough to enter tight spaces perfect for indoor reconnaissance, disaster zones, or hostage situations where propellers would be useless. These AI-powered systems weren't just smarter, they were more aware. From recognizing faces to understanding terrain, they didn't just move through the world. They read it, interpreted it, and acted accordingly. What once required a trained pilot now fits into your pocket and makes its own decisions. That's not just a leap in technology, it's a shift in control. And as autonomy deepens, the line between human intention and machine execution begins to blur. The sky no longer answers to us alone. It listens, learns, and adapts. The sky above Shenzhen was more than a backdrop. It was a statement. Drone World Congress 2025 didn't just showcase machines. It unveiled a world quietly transforming beneath our feet and above our heads. From firefighting bots to flying cars, from AI-guided micro-drones to personal air taxis, the message was clear. The age of autonomous technology is here. And this is only the beginning. As drones weave into our cities, jobs, and daily routines, we're witnessing the rise of a new infrastructure. Which technology amazed you the most? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more journeys into the future.